Welcome back. In Tamil, they say, Nanga ready, Ninga ready. That means I am ready, are you ready? That's exactly what the Union Home Minister Amit Shah, while taking centre stage at the Gujarat Adhivation on the News 18 network, told our group editor in chief, Rahul Joshi, on the question of common civil court, that the BJP has always been ready. Let the Congress clear its position. That means the Congress led opposition. So it's a straight aspect uh, or throwing down the gauntlet at the opposition saying tell us your status tell us your position where do you stand and if you're on we are ready listen jab chunav aate hain to uske pehle uniform civil court ki baat aapki party karti hai ma o oh, 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 bhai ek minute ruk jao 1950 se hamare har ghoshna patra mein hai ki hum uniform civil court ko layenge ji 1950 se nahi संविधान सभा ने भी आर्टिकल 44 के अंदर कहा है कि देश के विधान मंडलों और देश की संसद ने जब भी अनुकूलता हो तब यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड लाना चाहिए जिसमें जवाहरलाल नेहरू सरदार पटेल मौलाना आजाद राजा जी ये सब के दस्तखत है जी अब इन लोगों को क्या कहोगे ये भी सांप्रदायिक सोच कर गए थे ना वो सांप्रदायिक सोच कर नहीं गए थे एपीसमेंट के कारण के बाद सड़सठ के बाद आपने सांप्रदायिक सोचना शुरू किया है वो तो ठीक ही सोच कर गए थे धारा 370 हटी कौन सा चुनाव था भाई राम जन्मभूमि का भूमि पूजन हुआ कौन सा चुनाव था ट्रिपल तलाक हटा कौन सा चुनाव था और अगर आप नहीं हटाना चाहते हैं आप कॉमन सिविल पर्सनल लॉज को सेव करना चाहते हैं तो कांग्रेस पार्टी ने कह देना चाहिए कि इस देश में कॉमन सिविल कोड नहीं होना चाहिए इतनी नैतिक ताकत तो होनी चाहिए तो क्या इसके लिए कोई केंद्रीय कानून लाएंगे क्या करेंगे इसके लिए यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड के लिए कोई केंद्रीय कानून लाएंगे कैसे इसको इंप्लीमेंट करेंगे नहीं इंप्लीमेंट कैसे करेंगे विधानसभा कानून लेकर आएगी अपने आप इम्प्लीमेंट हो जाएगा इस देश में कानून बनाने की प्रक्रिया संविधान ने बनाई हुई कानून के इम्प्लीमेंटेशन की एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव व्यवस्था भी है इसी हिसाब से होगा Is the opposition ready is the question that we are asking. On the common civil code, because the Home Minister says the BJP has always been ready. So has it been mentioned in the directive principles? The courts have asked this question, when are you bringing in a common civil code? So let's ask our panelists. Abhishek Banerjee, columnist, is with us. We also have Sanju Verma, national spokesperson of the BJP, staying back into debate too. But first, I go across to Lokesh Jindal, leader of the Congress party. What's the position of the Congress on the Common Civil Code? Well, uh, uh, for the it's a political party which is applying brakes and accelerator together. Now, when we talk about the Uniform Civil Code, there are two sections of the Muslim society. One is the enlightened one, other is the orthodoxy, which are having divergent views. The enlightened Muslim intelligentsia welcomes the Uniform Civil Code, whereas it is being opposed by the orthodoxy. But look at the policies of the BJP. The BJP, when it projects itself as a Hindutva political party, it 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 uh, initiates a process of otherization to the Muslims. Doesn't even consider them as citizens. Do you expect the enlightened Muslim intelligentsia to have a say in Muslim politics or the orthodoxy to strengthen its claim? Now I don't understand how is BJP going to implement such a progressive form of policy? with respect to uniform civil code when it is not even giving the minorities a space so that they can at least have a mm. progressive set of ideas in the way forward mm. so it's almost like applying brakes and accelerator together mm. if bjp is truly progressive in its outlook if it really wants to implement uniform civil code in the country to tr- truly realize a secular form of a political system it must reform its own policies first then talk loud and all no, these forms of uh, to rhetoric no but but uh, what is the congress's position that was my question congress yes, yes the law has to be in conformity with the social and economic reality so it's very important that prior to introduction of such a law you must create an no. enabling environment so that such a law is received by the society so, at large so it should not be an what, what, upon okay so so that's so still again wishy washy about the pro, uh, this one you create an enabling environment so that was the example that was the argument that was provided in the 1950s by pandit jawaharlal nehru that you to create an enabling environment 
दे आर गिविंग द सेम आर्ग्यूमेंट सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स लेटर सेइंग दैट भारत एंड भारतीय आर नॉट अनेबल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अदरिंग वाई नॉट लुक एट सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया एज सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया वाई वुड यू लुक एट इट एज प्रोग्रेसिव एंड ऑर्थोडॉक्सी मुस्लिम्स वर्सेज हिंदुत्व एवरीबडी इज हिंदु सो देर आर नो दे सो जैन डोंट मैटर बुद्धिस्ट डोंट मैटर क्रिस्टियन डोंट मैटर एवरीबडी एज डजेंट मैटर एंड इन दिस कंट्री इज फार एज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डज इट लुक एट इट एज एन इंडियन सिटीजन और बेस्ड ऑन द रिलीजियस प्रिजम सो दीज आर दीज आर सर्टन क्वेश्चन दैट अराइज बेस्ड ऑन योर ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट एंड योर ओन आर्ग्यूमेंट द फैक्ट इज दैट द होल लाइन ऑफ सीड्स ऑफ डिविजन हैव बीन सोल्ड इन योर ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट माई क्वेश्चन टू संजू वर्मा जी इज Why do you need the opposition position on common civil code? Who's going to bring the bill? Congress or the BJP? This is exactly a question one of our panelists, uh, one of our viewers has also asked this question. Bill kis ko lana hai? Sarkar ko ki opposition ko? Okay. Anand, uh, without beating around the bush, let me be very uh, forthright with you. Bill to jo satta bhari party hai, wohi laegi aur bill ko kanoon mein tabdil karegi. Logon ne hamara mazak uraya tha ki Ram Janma Bhumi ka shilamyaas kabi BJP karegi hi nahi. BJP is just raking up this issue on the eve of every important election to appease its hindutva voter base par kya hua agar 2019 mein pradhan mantri narendra modi ne khud ram janma bhumi ka shilanyas kiya point number 1 point number 2 i just want to tell the congress panelist one thing why are we talking about the otherization of muslims let's be very clear that the uniform civil code means uniformity in certain civic laws pertaining to guardianship marriage divorce inheritance which will be applicable equally to hindus buddhists muslims jain sikhs christians and let me tell you one thing anand that muslims today are 14 14 percent of india's population and i dare say at the risk of not sounding very politically correct that muslims are not a minority anymore after hindus they are the second largest majority yadi kisi ko dar lagna chahiye ucc aane ke baad then it should be the sikhs who account for less than 3% of india's population it should be the parsis who account for only 0.03% of india's population or it should be the christians who account for 1.76% of india's population i just want to say one thing humko aaj bhashan kaun de raha hai कांग्रेस पार्टी भाषण दे रही है दिस इज द सेम पार्टी विच इन 1985-86 अंडर राजीव गांधी ओवरटर्न द शाबानो जजमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू डिनाई अ पोअर मुस्लिम वुमन अ मंथली एलिमनी ऑफ जस्ट अ मीजली हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन रुपीज एंड एज फार एज द लॉ गोज लेट मी टेल यू आनंद इन टेन सेकेंड लास्ट ईयर द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ डेली हाईकोर्ट प्रतिभा सिंह said that the time is right to implement ucc or usse pehle in 2017 justice js kehar said justice kehar so, clearly so, said so, so that the uniform based, based on your own argument implemented without based on your own argument based on your own one, one second one second lokesh ji one second sanju ji based on your own argument at least three sessions of parliament have passed after those uh, the, the 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 court justices made the observation but we've not seen the bill or we've not seen any contours of the bill even being tabled in parliament or being spoken about in parliament so it's not come hey, it's not come it's not come one minute my my humble point is that the political prism from which it's been seen is of hindu versus muslim whereas this is not the case at all this is applicable to every indian citizen the moment you start putting it under religious classification heads that's when the othering and the politicization is happening this is a rule which applies to any and every indian citizen uniformly that's why the word uniform civil code comes in actually it's a common civil code and this common civil code does not impinge upon anybody's personal faith it's about personal law you you define the five contours and these contours this should be unanimous because in one country which is as one constitution there should be one civil law which is be a common civil code abhishek banerjee why is this concept so difficult to grasp or that the moment this happens this entire political game goes away so yeah, those who claim like that. that the bjp is playing the hindutva card forget what happened in 1985 where who succumbed to the orthodoxy is very very evident and history uh, history has chronicled it very well but here this concept of bharatiya having one common civil code how difficult is it to grasp be it government or opposition yeah anand i mean uh... it is uh, it should be obvious to everyone that in any modern law abiding democracy with rule of law 
every citizen has to be treated equally under the law and in fact because we do not have the common civil code in particular with the uh, connection to muslims what happens is often really the spectacle of our court sitting down and you know implementing and not implementing interpreting religious scriptures of this or that religion that what does this or that text mean and it has all sorts of horrible consequences particularly for women i mean there is it is i mean according to me the objecting to a uniform civil code this is just indefensible now one may go back into the history in the beginning when we were a young country the concern was to keep the country together mm. some compromises perhaps had been made a long time ago 75 years ago some compromises were made even when the us was formed they had to make some horrible compromises mm. they got rid of it a part of it during the civil war and after the civil war they still had to make some compromises they also had something like separate but equal but then they agreed separate is not equal everybody has to be treated truly equal under the same law you have mm. to get rid of discrimination and we don't live in the society of 1950 anymore at that time we have we were a completely rural society we everybody lived in their own silos women hardly had any agencies and now even in the modern context you know there are all these people they are interacting in an urban environment there are people of all faiths mingling with each other and they are entering into interpersonal relationships what happens tomorrow when these things go to court and we have this very spectacular uh, situation where the courts are sitting and interpreting arcane laws they are like mm. oh this marriage is irregular but not illegitimate i think the supreme court said something like that yes. i have no idea what that sentence even means so we have to make some sense in order to make sense of this modern society we need a uniform civil court that it is just a fait accompli we cannot do true lokesh jindal yes why can't uh, we see, look at it from the about... prism of what's good for bharat should we not have common law which which protects everybody's interest irrespective of where they live and who they are uh, anand uh, we we really need a uniform civil code but we need to understand what is the enabling environment we'll go back to the history when raja ram mohan roy he carried out a crusade against sati we had radha khan dev who opposed it so right from ishwar chandra vidya sagar up till bairam ji mala bari and all the hmm. social reformers they had to fight orthodoxy and subsequently laid, they laid they created an enabling environment which led to the passing of hindu code bill and codification of hindu personal law and its secularization in 1950s similarly such a movement was lagging amongst the muslims so the muslims never had the counterpart to that of the hindus the point is there is a need so as to enable the muslim uh, enlightened class intelligentsia to come up forward hmm. and there has to be a two way approach the state has to facilitate this form of social reformists coming from the community itself all forms of community whether it's christians whether it is any any form of religious community mm. so they all must come together with their own issues of social reform women must come forward and then the legislation no, but they have already come forward they have forward. they look at jindal they have already come forward it's not that they haven't come forward point is that if you're talking about the intelligentsia or the moderates or those who are enlightened and you want to take on orthodoxy you have to empower this uh, this entire group against the orthodoxy and that will happen the only when the constitution been... codes a law that law is the one that empowers them and gives them protection no. let me see, let me let see, me read out see, what, what, what kind of orthodoxy debate. was consulted when the marriageable yes, age yes. for a woman was decided as legal age was decided as 18 which form of muslim, no, muslim orthodoxy me, got me, a, 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 was consulted when the marriageable age for a boy was decided at 21 How was it decided? No, how was it decided? Do do they actually recognize it? Do some of the personal laws actually recognize it among communities? It doesn't, right? But what See, happens when we are talking about civil society? No, no. But civil society, so civil society, is every citizen of this country and the rule for the citizen of this country as far as personal law and personal faith are two different aspects. You should not be allowed to conflate these. So, so that's one. Final word, Sanju Verma. Yes, Anand. I just want to say one thing. I will repeat what Kiran Rijiju said. He was asked, "Why is it taking time to implement the UCC, given that it's been a part of BJP's manifesto?" He categorically said that the 21st Law Commission said that the implementation of UCC is not desirable, and the Modi government actually jumped the proposal because the Law Commission is neither a statutory body nor a constitutional body; it is just an advisory body. Now, the 22nd Law Commission. has been told to frame the nuances jo bolte hai na ki pura dhancha taiyar kijiye so that there are no loopholes and the bjp is 100% sure that the time to implement ucc has come because personal law will it be will it be implemented at the center or is it or will it be done at the state level sanju ji personal law personal law cannot override the constitution sanju ji will it happen at the state level or will it happen by an act of parliament because why are states promising ucc then if it is going to be an act of parliament anand let me anand let me please uh, you know uh, say this 
that under article 346 of the constitution states also have the power and center also has the power but even if states decide to implement ucc on a standalone basis they have to then send that particular bill for the uh, approval of the president so finally the ball is in the president's court and in the central executive's court so finally i think as things stand given the constitutional nuances it is the central government which will ensure that ucc is brought in taking into account of course the input from various states which is what the 22nd law commission has been asked to do hmm. so you are saying that the 27 law commission the final uh, 20 seconds abhijay abhishek 20 yes. seconds i'll wind up after that yeah i mean anand i am pretty sure that we are going to see a uniform civil code within 2 to 3 years in this mm. country and it will and i'm pretty sure it will also come from an act of parliament just the way article 370 was removed at that time it was a stroke of of constitutional genius the way it was worked you know right. the, the we suddenly saw this artifact out of nowhere the method was conjured up i think that's exactly what is going to happen with the uniform civil code we are not more than 3 years away and and i that's leave fine. you with the thought that why can't the opposition or the congress enable what it believes that the bjp is unable to do especially in something which is an in interest of bharat so i leave you with that thought and say can we do this together for the for the citizens of our country and for this country i have to wind up i've run out of time thank you very very much with that we call it a wrap on the right stand brass tax with zakat